please take your Princess Diana commemorative spoon yeah. and get out of my crematorium. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say to him? <laughs> My point is, Randy, we need to start reining in our spending. Why? Three words, Randy. Impending global economic crisis. That's four words. You have to throw in a bonus word. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now, to help us keep track of our finances, I've taken the liberty of purchasing us an abacus. Oh. <sighs> it's not an abacus. It's a platypus. What's an abacus again? <laughs> It's like a wooden frame with, with beads on it for counting. Yeah, that's what I asked for. Well, where did you get it? The toy shop. Really? Well, I started at the toy shop, but it was closed, so I sort of worked my way down Main Street. And where did you end up? Hillsville Sanctuary Wildlife Reserve. <laughs> and you asked them for an abacus. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I was pretty tired by then. I was, I was probably mumbling. What? How much was it? Uh, several thousand dollars. What? Plus, I had to pay for the permit. What permit? The permit to keep a platypus. What? And that didn't tip you off that this is not actually an abacus? Well, by that stage, you'd already paid for the platypus. <laughs> Why didn't you ask for your money back? I was in too deep. Uh, Sammy, how are we supposed to save money when you go out and spend it all on platypuses? Platypie. <laughs> what? The plural of platypus is platypie. It's not. It's platypuses. I think I'd know. Sorry, I'm going to have to step in here. Uh, platypie does sound more scientific, but in truth it's just an incorrect colloquialism, so Randy was actually right. The early settlers called us duck moles. Fascinating. <laughs> Randy, we're hurtling towards a recession, the dollar's losing value rapidly, and we need to start some serious financial planning. OK, what do you suggest? Well, from now on, every time we spend a dollar, we're going to come home and make a note of it on the abacus. No! <clears throat> <clears throat> It's a platypus. I forgot for a second. Have you considered a fixed-term deposit? Sorry, mate, we're just trying to sort out our finances. Yeah, shut up! <laughs> We've got a plan for the future, Randy. If you're looking for a buffer against the uncertainty of global markets, you could do a lot worse than a savings maximizer. <laughs> God! We've got to be smart about this, Randy. I think we need some professional advice. I'm a chartered accountant. Oh. <laughs> Would you shut the fuck up? What would you know about finances? I've held an extensive property portfolio for a decade. I've got more than $5 million in assets, and I'm the only platypus to ever make it onto the BRW rich list. What'd you come in at? 36. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to tell you that this is my specific area of expertise, and if you just listen to me for a second... I'll put you in the car and drive you back to Hillsville Sanctuary. Is that what you want? Yes. <laughs> Well, I don't have enough money for petrol. Yeah, you're just going to have to sleep in the sink. Oh, I hate you so much. Well, you should have bought an abacus. 